So we must understand that there is always, 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 always going to be returns when we have an e-commerce store. It's just consumer psychology, man. You know, you're going to buy something and you don't want it anymore. Or it's not suiting you because, again, you're not feeling or touching the product before the, before end. So now when you receive something, you're like, eh, it's a bit pricey or didn't meet my expectation. This is the real world. We are adults. We get a product and if you don't like it, you don't like it. You follow the process. The process which is most companies use the CPA. Some people in blue don't even worry about the CPA. But at the end of the day, you got to understand that there's a process. It's not the traditional brick and mortar store where you can go and say, hi, I'd like to have my money back. No, it's hi. I don't like this product. I would like my money back. What is the process? The reply could be from the, the company. This could take up to 10 to 15 working days because the reverse logistics does not work the same as the outbound logistics. Customers and consumers, especially in South Africa, need to understand if the country needs to go online, you've got to give that business a chance. I've been saying this. Currently, I'm 11 years doing e-commerce. It took me two years to prepare for it right so i'm 13 years in total for 13 years on even on my facebook page we'll find a video about this 13 years ago about reverse logistics till today i'll see since then nothing's changed